not standing in this. I don't give a damn about election day. It doesn't matter a lick to me. Well, that about says it all. We are six days away from election day, but Sandy has had a huge impact on the campaign. Here in Massachusetts, the final debate between Senator Scott Brown and Elizabeth Warren has been canceled. Mitt Romney resumes campaigning today after three events in Florida after spending Tuesday collecting storm relief supplies in Ohio. President Obama canceled rallies in the Buckeye State, instead decided to tour disaster areas in New Jersey with Republican Governor Chris Christie. Let's assess the impact. Here to join us in that conversation is Mara Dolan. She is co-chair of the Policy Committee of the Massachusetts Democratic State Committee, and to her right, Jeff Simone, Communications Director for the Massachusetts Young Republicans. Welcome to you both. Uh, first of all, your sense of what this does to a campaign. Now we're six days away. It's over 140 hours from now. People are going to be voting unless they decide to postpone the election, which we don't think they will. Um, Jeff, your, your, your thoughts on how it's being handled, Nash? How does it affect Romney? Uh, I think the biggest impact will be felt whether um, Ohio and Pennsylvania will have electricity uh, if the voters are able to get to the polls there. There's six days. Uh, there's quite a bit of time to get that infrastructure back up and running. So that'll be critical, especially Ohio, how the storm impacted the people there. So get out the vote continues to be a theme from your point of view. Mara, you look at Governor Chris Christie. Yes. And he looks absolutely presidential. He is grounded. He's talking about his people, connecting to what's going on there, and speaking in very straight, straight talk. What do you do if you're a, a, a candidate for president like Mitt Romney or the president, and really you can't really wrap your brain around this, or you can't wrap your message around this because it's just all about weather? Well, it's a huge problem for Mitt Romney because it's also about FEMA. During the primaries, he stated in a debate that he would abolish FEMA. Now, Governor Chris Christie is working with the president through FEMA in order to aid in disaster relief in New Jersey. Yesterday, Mitt Romney was asked repeatedly to clarify his position on FEMA, and he repeatedly refused to answer. Point, counterpoint, Jeff? Yeah, well, Mitt Romney never said he was going to abolish FEMA. He, he said did. he was going to he reduce did. its impact and push more of it back to the states, which is the best way to handle it. States, municipalities know the people on the ground, know how to get things done. And the fact is that if the president politicizes an incident where right now we have 55 deaths, billions of dollars in damage, he should tread very lightly if he's going to politicize this event. Bill Clinton working not necessarily as a surrogate, going out on his own out to Colorado, feeling like, well, I can go out there and talk about someone who I care about, an issue I care about. What impact does that have on the campaign, Jeff? What do you think? As far as Clinton? Absolutely. Clinton's been, uh, well, he's been back and forth as far as his support for President Obama. Uh, earlier on this year, he said that Mitt Romney would uh, do an excellent job. He's been a good steward of the economy. So uh, Bill Clinton's impact, I, ne I never think that a Clinton is uh, above uh, thinking four years or possibly eight years from now. So. It, it, it depends really what uh, Bill Clinton's and the Clinton's motivation All right, is. let's bring this home. Let's talk about the, the senatorial race. $50 million have been generated in the most expensive Senate race in the country. $33 million of those dollars have been spent. We've got six days to spend $17 million. How's it going to be sent? be spent from the from uh, from uh, Elizabeth Warren's camp campaign well it will continue to be spent on advertising and on getting out the vote and outreach she clearly has the momentum at this point she's seven points ahead in the latest Suffolk poll and David Kelly said that that was the two two points to, to Brown's favor so that is true who knows she's, what the polls but the, are really revealing but the polls have generally been trending in her favor it's interesting that Scott Brown canceled the debate saying that this was no time to have a debate because of people suffering as a result of the hurricane but he didn't cancel cancel his political advertisements. He still thought it was appropriate to run political ads, so he has a real issue there. Jeff, final word? Uh, he suspended the uh, ads for the day that the storm came out. And by the way, the debate, uh, we have six days to go to the election. Uh, events have been scheduled. Uh, the debate being canceled, it lines up well for Scott Brown, and he is up two points in the Boston Globe poll. There you go. All right, Jeff Simone, getting the final word. Mara Dolan, thanks for being here this Thank morning. You so on the morning Thank you so much. Thank you. It is 8.14. Let's uh, take a look now and find out what's going on with Sandy's aftermath. Richard? Yeah, we're going to